Lydia Martin. Lydia. Lydia. Let me tell you, there's plenty to say about Lydia. Five foot three, green eyes, fair skinned, and her hair is actually strawberry blonde. Hey, Lydia. You know, Lydia used to pretend not to be smart. I'm so bad at this. We want you to look out for your friend to make sure everything's okay with her. Seems okay to me. Our Lydia? It's your brain floating with phenylethylamine. Vertigo is a dysfunction of the vestibular system of the inner ear. I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> that was sort of perfect form. Was it? Isn't it? What? I read once that. I read it somewhere. I read. Maybe you should stop pretending to suck just for his benefit. Academically, Lydia is one of the finest students I've ever had. I know archaic Latin. You know archaic Latin. I got bored with classical Latin. It's a subset of apophenia. It's metaphoric. So, try the Mongolian draw. And I'm also pretty sure that I'm the only one who knows how smart you really are. He's really smart. Her AP classes push her GPA above a 5.0. X equals 25. And that once you're done pretending being a nitwit, you'll eventually go off and write some insane mathematical theorem that wins you the Nobel Prize. Lydia, I wasn't aware you had so many hidden talents. It's like really good. Nobel is another prize for mathematics. The field's been also the one I'll be winning. I'd actually like to have her IQ tested. We're not exactly brain trusted geniuses here, okay? Then maybe we should call one. Isn't she supposed to be some kind of genius? Genius? Yes. But he's not gonna have a problem getting into Stanford. One class. We only have one class. Your grades are fine. Where's Lydia? She took it her freshman year. I had enough credits to graduate last year. I'm just how smart are you? And socially, she displays outstanding leadership qualities. I mean, she's a real leader. Lydia's birthday is always the party of the year, isn't it? Lydia, who throws the best parties in Beacon Hills? <laughs> what? Me! Obviously! I saw. What, Lydia? What did you see? You're gonna think I'm crazy. What's happening? How much do you know about this stuff? Pieces. Oh, well, that's right. They haven't told you, have they? I'll promise not to say anything about what just happened. If you can tell me what the hell just happened. But you felt like the last to know for a long time. Lydia! Run! I'm the spark that lit your fire, sweetheart. If she lives, she'll become a werewolf. She lost a lot of blood, but there, there's something else going on with her. Nothing happened to you. It's like, she's immune. She's not a werewolf. What the hell is she? I didn't even know where I was until I got out of the car. I'm not crazy. You wouldn't turn from the bite, you wouldn't die, but you would be able to do. I don't like this place. Are you saying I have a reputation? An unusual one. Lydia's got sort of a talent. It's the same thing. Same thing as the pool. Please don't breathe it, please don't breathe it, please don't breathe it. Are you okay? Lydia. Just an unusual habit of showing up at places where people have been brutally murdered. She somehow ended up finding a couple of the bodies um, without actually looking for them. The answer is I have no clue how I ended up finding that body. I don't know why I am the one that keeps finding the bodies. You have no idea what you are, do you? Maybe you're psychic. I'm not a psychic. I'm psychic. You're psychic? You're something! She's something. I'm something?! I mean, I get that I'm some kind of, like, human Geiger counter for death, but I don't know how to turn it on and off yet. I don't know anything. But you feel something. I have this sudden rushing feeling. Hmm. Why, is he dead? Do you have any kind of indication, any kind of feeling about this? Premonition? Yeah. Yes. What do you feel? I feel like something terrible is going to happen. The one with the screaming and people killing each other? I'm standing in a graveyard, and it's not just a feeling. The wailing woman. She, right before my eyes. Banshees don't predict danger. They predict death. I think you know what a banshee premonition feels like. But if we don't get out of here, someone's going to die. He's going to die. How do you know that? I just do. Well, maybe the GPS would work better if it was on. What? 
promise there. Did you hear that? Hear what? You hear that? Hear what? All day I have been hearing this sound. It's like a baby crying. Whisper. That sound, it's getting louder. You didn't hear people whispering. Did you hear a gunshot? No, I didn't hear anything. Lydia, I'm not sure anybody hears what you hear. I have to admit, I don't have much experience with Banshees. Well, that makes two of us, since I don't have much experience being one. What are the voices telling you? Trust me. You have better luck with tarot cards. What else do Banshees do? You think I know? Not a psychic. Apparently, not much of a Banshee either. Power doesn't come without a little pain or struggle. I don't have claws or glowing eyes or super senses. I didn't ask for it. I just have voices in my head. I have a feeling you underestimate your abilities, Lydia. Why? She's a pretty little thing, isn't she? Lydia Martin is not only beautiful, not only incredibly intelligent. That pretty little thing could shatter your skull with a voice if someone decided to teach her how. Lydia? What do they want with Lydia? The power of a banshee. But Lydia's pain is particularly appealing to a thousand-year-old demon. He probably thinks what we're all thinking. Lydia's got something bigger to do with it. But honestly, if there's anyone who could figure this thing out, it's Lydia. I feel like I can do this. And maybe she's the only one who could actually save us. It's not the scream that gives you power. But I don't know what to do. I am going to show you how to use your voice. I swear to God, it, it literally makes me want to scream. What do you want from me? I want you to do what you do best, Lydia. I want you to scream. I need you to scream. Okay, then scream. Lydia, scream. What the hell was that? Lydia, I heard a kind of explosion. All the scream does is help drown out the noise. Allowing you to hear. You're just like me, Lydia. Look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. So how loud can you scream? Loud enough to create a burst of acoustic energy that could crush your skull. The Valak found that trepanation would initially heighten their powers, but to levels that couldn't be contained. She doesn't look good. She's a hole in her head. Why did you do to me? I've amplified her abilities. It will be like causing a leak in a nuclear reactor. She'll hear everything. You will see things, Lydia. Every death, every dying scream, all at once. Where's he coming from? Everywhere. It's too loud, I can't. What's happening to her? A banshee. She died screaming. It's being consumed by her power. Are you on? Her own dying scream could be so powerful that it might kill everyone around her as well. Personally, I think that you're going to pull through with a minimal amount of post-traumatic stress. You okay? You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah. Then maybe a few years of profoundly disturbing nightmares. to strangle me. Lydia? Okay. It's, it's not as bad as it looks. Help! Get someone to help me! When I survived, I want to learn how to fight. Oh, 
solid steel. Your hands can guide your voice. I said they'll stop a bullet, not a match. <gasps> Ghost Rider was afraid of her. He's afraid of you. I'm afraid of me. It wasn't fear, it was... You're the monsters. Even banshees. Get behind me. They won't take a banshee. Stay behind me. Almost like... reverence. How does it work? I know people are going to die. Oh, do it. Scream, Lydia. Scream like a bitch. Is that how you do your predictions? Do you need to touch them? No. Or is it just a feeling? How do you know who's going to die next? Tell us why you left Styles. Just how close to death do they have to be? If I was never in the car with him, there wouldn't have to be a crush. He wouldn't have to die. Do you ever have nice dreams? Do you ever see anything remotely optimistic? It's optimistic if you prevent it. There doesn't have to be a next. And you wouldn't have to scream. Not all monsters do monstrous things. Like who? Like Scott? Like you. The things I've seen and felt, they don't always happen. Maybe. I just stop trying to fight it. I'd find them before it happens. But if I have this thing, it's got to work some of the time. Maybe with enough time for someone like you to do something about it. It's got to help someone. And Lydia would never run and hide. It's so strong with emotion. Fear. Anger. Sounds like Lydia. My friends are in trouble. You'll be safe. Watch your friends suffer. I'm trying to help my friends. I don't want to be safe. My friends. They need me. I'm going for it. You don't care about getting hurt. I can help him. The other night, I helped save someone's life. That felt really good. So aren't you the screamer? Banshee. Yeah, but Banshee scream, right? Banshees don't scream. They wail.